This is one of the um, oldest clocks that I have. This one's the oldest one, and this one here was from my uh, granddad. Yeah, there is that. We've got this one here. This one's also a wind up. So, yes. This one's one of my favorite ones. Look at this. So yes, it's also a wind up. Now this one unfortunately doesn't work because the insides of it are falling apart. You can still wind it, it doesn't do anything though. This one was my uh, first ever wind up watch. Is this thing open? It moves this. Also, on the back side, you can see it working. So, yes, there is that. This one doesn't work because it has you can't wind it up. There's no wind. Uh, you can't wind it up. There's no uh, crank for it. And we got a uh, hourglass. So yeah, that is that. And we got this one here. So yeah, this is this might be loud. There it is. It works. This thing here is also wind up. This one has it working as well, I think. Five o'clock. Yeah, you 
can't turn this one back, it just doesn't let you. It only lets you do it forward. I don't know why. It's like a locking mechanism in there. Okay, there it is. Okay. This one here. Does it every 15 minutes? And I have this one as well, but this is not wind up, this works with the battery. Like every other clock, it works. So yeah, there was um, the clock collection of for wind-ups. There's also one more. This one here is, it's not wind-up. It's a bit dusty. I got, I made this one in the uh, resistant materials. It has a Tetris theme on the front. And then on the end, so it's a bit bent up. Let's fix this real quick. There we go. So it's like this on the inside, and then the back has the batteries. Yeah, it still works as well. So yes, that's going to be it. If I have any newer clocks, I'll do an update. Bye.